Yet only on WRTV, federal housing inspectors are targeting the Indianapolis Housing Agency. Their focus, why is the agency in such poor financial shape? A story you'll only see on WRTV. IHA provides housing to some of the most vulnerable families in our city, from senior citizens to domestic violence survivors. The agency is struggling to pay its bill. The interim bills, I should say. The interim executive director tells me that IHA could use $10 million to cover expenses, which also include paying contractors and installing necessary items like new elevators and new boilers. Anytime that you have federal inspectors coming in, it's not a good look. No, no, it is not. And, um, but you know what? I personally believe that you always need another set of eyes. And, and whether that set is one from the federal government, I am not adverse to having them come in and help us see what possibly we don't see. This seems dire. This seems like the Titanic-esque. What's going on? It is dire. And I don't know. I don't know. And, and I will tell you what I have shared with my staff, what I've shared with my board, and, and what I've shared with others, in that based on my experience, I'm, pretty, I'm used to being able to come in and pretty much see some avenues and some, some, some means. And I simply don't see it. I don't have uh, the ability to see where the gap occurred. The first round of federal inspectors will be on site on Monday here in Indianapolis and that on Tuesday we should get more of the agency's finances details at that at their board meeting where we'll get more information about their current status. We'll keep you up to date.